lot of people are afraid of doing a remodeling project. Uh, they may be selling their home or they may just want to do an improvement on it. Uh, but I want to find out a little bit about how you work, uh, the things you do and the things you don't do. So um, what kind of remodeling projects do you usually see in the Dallas and Fort Worth area uh, that you guys have, have uh, been doing? Bernie, we see a lot of uh, folks, especially when they're looking to sell their house, um, wanting to make sure that they're getting top dollar. So a lot of the things that we're doing with uh, with real estate agents is we'll help get with the agent, get with the homeowner. Let's figure out where the house is in relation to comparable homes in the market. Let's try to figure out what the top end uh, of that market is, considering you know, uh, updated kitchens, updated bathrooms, paint being, you know, consistent. Um, and then we can kind of talk with the homeowner and the realtor on the things that we see that are deficient in the home that might be addressed to help bring that value up to, um, you know, the most that they can get in the market. So uh, it could be anything as simple as just uh, taking down old ugly wallpaper and doing some uh, texture and paint, bring the place up and airy flooring. Uh, kitchen and bath is a big need, especially in some of the higher price points where the homes were built 20, 30 years ago, and nobody's ever touched the kitchens or the bathrooms. Those are big selling points. If a seller is going to do, well, just any home owner for that matter, whether they're selling their home or they're going to live in it several more years, what are, let's just take a, a kitchen remodel, for instance. What is involved in doing that how much time do you, it, does a typical project take and and what should a seller be thinking when they undertake uh, or have you engage you to undertake a project like just a kitchen remodel well, one of the things i like to do with a homeowner is find out what their perception of the work is going to do for them if it, if they want to open this thing up and and kind of bring a a kitchen that was at one time kind of sequestered off from the living space and they want to open that up and make it part of the you know the family living area that can be a little bit more involved we might have to move some walls uh, may need to really reconfigure the whole kitchen if they've already got a good layout and it's just outdated uh, it might be just as simple as maybe refacing the cabinets putting in some granite new fixtures new appliance package maybe some flooring and that's a that's the other end of the spectrum so it can be something as simple as a couple of weeks in and out put you know just spit shine on it and make it look you know what they're what they're wanting or it could be a complete reconfiguration 